Hey there kids! Hopefully this isn't too glitchy. It seems like it's a little glitchy on my end. So we're going to jump in and get started before everything boops out. Uh, we are in lessons 21, 22, 23 somewhere at the end of module 6 where everything is very challenging and uh, you really have to think to apply the skills that we've learned all year. So let's jump right into problem 5 here. Oh, by the way, the objective for this lesson and um, the lessons 21, 22, 23, make sense of complex multi-step problems and persevere in solving them, share and critique peer solutions. So you definitely want to have somebody around to talk to because uh, it's really important to bounce your ideas off somebody else when you're able. Um, so here we have three pumpkins and two squash weigh 27 and 5 tenths pounds. Four pumpkins and three squash weigh 37 and 5 tenths pounds. Each pumpkin weighs the same as the other pumpkins, thankfully, and each squash weighs the same as the other squash, thankfully. How much does each pumpkin weigh and how much does each, each squash weigh? So when I was younger, I could never have solved this, never ever. I'd probably just cry, walk away, oh, I don't know what to do. But we are not young me, and you are going to learn this because you can, and we're going to use tape diagrams, and I'm going to show you how to do it and make it easier. So let's make a picture of what these three pumpkins and two squash would look like at 27.5 pounds. They're going to look like this, three pumpkins, and two squash. Look at that fine art there, okay? Now, those two items weigh 27.5 pounds, LBS. Okay, got it. Now, let's check this out. Four pumpkins and three squash. weigh 37.5 pounds. So here we have the difference of one pumpkin and one squash. So let's just make note of that, that one pumpkin and one squash together make up a difference of 10 pounds. That's really important to note because nobody tells you that. Okay, now what do we do with this? So if you look and talk through the problem, if one pumpkin and one squash equal 10 pounds, and that's the difference, then if I had two pumpkins and two squash, that would be 20 pounds, right? Okay. Well, I don't have two pumpkins and two squash, but I do have three pumpkins and two squash. So three pumpkins and two squash are 27.5 pounds. So the difference here is that this extra pumpkin is the 7.5 pounds. And that's what a picture can do for you and just trying to talk through and make sense of what each piece means okay so now if one pumpkin equals 7.5 pounds and the difference between the two is 10 pounds then you do a subtraction problem to figure out the one squash and we can't subtract from zero or zero but you can take one from here give 10 remember over over zeros it's nine and ten on the end so 5 and 2. So 1 squash is 2.5 pounds. Okay, um, now let's go back up here. Each pumpkin, each squash. How much does each pumpkin weigh? How much does each squash weigh? And so that's all we need to do there. Okay, so I hope that makes sense. Um, I don't know, there's just, you could probably do a couple other things with it, but that's the way that makes the most sense to me. So let's work on the toys and toy cars and trucks problem. 
Move that over. Always trying to make more room here. Okay, Henry had 20 convertibles and five trucks in his miniature car collection. After Henry's aunt bought him some more miniature trucks, Henry found that one-fifth of his collection consisted of convertibles. How many trucks did his aunt buy? Well, let's see. Okay, so let's make a picture of this again. 20 convertibles and five trucks in his collection. You can draw a picture of the collection And we can just section it off like so, 20 and five, and we have convertibles, and we have trucks. Just to see what we have, okay? So we have 25 in the collection. After Henry's aunt buys him more miniature trucks, okay, and we have mystery number T, Henry found that one-fifth of his collection consisted of convertibles. Okay, so let's do uh, one-fifth we'll take our 20 and we'll turn that into one-fifth of the collection. Okay, so um, because she only bought trucks, that's why you know that the 20 is going to be uh, this piece here. Okay, so we're not changing those convertibles, but this is one fifth of the collection. Now, if this is one fifth of the collection, then what is the collection? Well, 20 times five. So 20 times five equals 100. So the collection would have 100 cars in it. You can look at it as 20 is one fifth of 100. Okay, next. The rest of it we have to try to figure out would be the trucks. Okay, so four fifths of 100 is what number? Well, that's what's left. That's your 80. And since he had five already, 80 minus five equals 75. So now we know that his aunt bought him Seventy-five trucks. And I know this is going to be a real short video, but click subscribe and come back again and we'll do uh, the next two on the next page. You guys take care and we'll see you on the next video. Bye for now.